Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about this whole issue over the trademark for the Washington Redskins being thrown out, right? Let me just make an obvious point, and I think the talk I heard this morning on sports radio and on uh, shows like the Glenn Beck Show, right, Serious Patriot Network and stuff like that, is totally missing the point. You know, I was cringing when I heard so-called trademark experts on the show. Here's what I think you need to know. There's a difference between public and private. In the United States, private people can do what they want in terms of naming their club whatever they want. Right? So, Daniel Snyder and the Redskin team can go around calling themselves Washington Redskins. They can even market themselves as the Washington Redskins. The issue isn't whether they can call themselves the Washington Redskins. <laughs> it's not. The issue is whether you and me, taxpayers, are going to financially subsidize and defend their use of the term Washington Redskins in their marketing. That's what trademark protection, protection is the key word. That's what trademark protection is all about. Right? It's whether we are going to give the Redskins a monopoly to use the term Washington Redskins. Right? <laughs> So that if some other group decides they're going to call themselves the Washington Redskins, right, the Redskins have literally asked us to give them the right to prevent that use. Understand, people have it backwards, right? The Redskins are the ones asking us for favors. Right? The Redskins are the ones. They're not asking us for the right to use the name. It's something different. They're asking us for protection. Monopoly protection. They want to be able to use the name exclusively. Right? They're asking for a privilege. They're asking for state protection. Understand if we give them state protection to use this term, Washington Redskins, then if they sue somebody who's using that term without our permission, then they'll end up in our court system, where guess what? You and I would be paying a lot of the bills for that lawsuit, that trademark infringement lawsuit, to proceed. So understand, this is a time in America, and it's been shocking, where finally people are looking around, and they're realizing that people of color, let me be more precise, people of color like me, don't want to pay taxes. Right? Don't want to pay taxes that are then used to give monopoly protection to some crackpot organization that's marketing racist terms. Right? If some group of crackpots wants to call themselves the Washington Redskins, right? <laughs> you know, if, if, if some group actually is asking me to use tax dollars 
to support their use and to give them a monopoly for the use of the phrase Washington Redskins, then to those crackpots, we here in the United States finally have decided to say no. If you want to run around the country and actually have a business that's entitled the Washington Redskins, you can go ahead and do so. But you're not going to get state protection. Why would anyone even consider giving a crackpot outfit like that? State protection. Monopoly power over the use of terms like the Redskins. What's that about? Right? And so, I believe all these freedom-loving folks, and keep in mind, I'm, I'm a libertarian. I love freedom. I believe all these freedom-loving folks have it wrong. They seem to be overlooking the public-private distinction. The minute you're asking for a public monopoly, you're at... <laughs> You're seeking the right to have protection, right? Trademark protection from the state. Then the state has the right to turn you down, right? Especially when you're asking to use a term like the Washington Redskins. Now, to me, the ad campaign that the Redskins are mounting here is ridiculous. They're grabbing individual people of Native American descent, and that individual person is saying, you know what, I'm not offended by the use of the term Washington Redskins. Well, let me point out, I'm offended. Right? Washington Redskins, if you want to find someone who's offended by the use of the term, contact me. You think I want to pay tax dollars to give you monopoly protection to use the term Washington Redskins? You got to be kidding me. That's a joke. That can only happen in some kind of white supremacist America where people of color had to sit on the back of a bus or were relegated to reservations. Right? The world has changed. Look around. Many taxpayers are people of color. Why would I ever support some regime where my government is giving monopoly protection for the use of terms like Washington Redskins. To those of you who feel this is a freedom of speech issue, understand Redskins could do whatever they want without government protection. If Daniel Snyder and company want to continue to call their team the Washington Redskins, right, then why do they need our government protection of their use of the term? Why should I be protecting redskin logos that show, you know, some mascot with headdress and feathers? Why would I why would I go for that? What's the difference between the Washington Redskins and let's say the Washington Blackskins? Why would I even want to consider going down this road? Simply put, what's in it for me? What's in it for taxpayers like me who don't want our tax dollars used in this manner? So to sum up, this isn't government overreaching. This is some crackpot private group overreaching and asking for government protection for crackpot activities. Let me go one step further. I've always been amazed. There's a state school, Florida State, that of course calls themselves the Florida State Seminoles. And then of course they have some guy with painted skin and a headdress riding around on a horse. 
at games to the taxpayers of Florida why are you financially supporting some crackpot outfit like that to the extent that the Florida State Seminoles have federal trademark protection to the US taxpayer why are we supporting some crackpot outfit like this why are we giving a monopoly on the intellectual property the name Florida State Seminoles why are we even granting any monopoly on the use of that derogatory phrase those are the questions that need to be asked right the next time some crackpot group steps forward and says hey we want to call ourselves the New York City white skins I hope the government tells them no too let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me point out, too, I don't want any kid thinking that our government, in good faith, would be giving monopoly power to derogatory phrases like Washington Redskins or Washington Blackskins to some kooky private group or to anybody. What message does that send to the children? Also, isn't this just really a gateway to imagery of the worst kind? Right? Guys with painted skins riding around on white horses at college events. How did things get this out of hand? Aren't things this out of hand? Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.